guys, I'm just like a vlogger now. <laughs> I'm literally crying. Strike the pose. This is POV of me walking. Um, it's literally 2023. How come there isn't like the ability to flip the camera while you're recording? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let's step our game up. Let's step our game up. <laughs> Okay, chickadees, so that's the coffee place that I'd be going to, or I used to go to, um, until it got infiltrated by hot hipsters. So that's where all the hot hipsters go. Oh. But yeah, it's just like, I really don't want like hot hipsters around me when I'm trying to order my coffee and giving me major side eyes. So I stopped going there, chickadees. This is the Martha Stewart house. I'm convinced that whoever lives here is like in a cult. Cause like the house is just like so nice. I'm like, uh. hey guys, this is my realtor video. Oh my gosh, this is also one of the cult houses. Cause like they have this creepy statue. Like look at that creepy statue. It's like depicting of like, child like giving its offering of like blood sacrifice and then like obviously you can tell like this is all student housing because it's like all run down and crappy looking yeah guys it's my like morning walk hey chickadees omg i'm wearing my new sunglasses from the amazonia Yes, I got some new sunglasses. It was a three pack. Um, I don't know how they look on camera, but Strike the pose. am I serving? Am I serving? I'm serving rice and beans. Bitch. What's up, guys? Oh my gosh, like, what's up? I made it to the third floor today. It's like so much brighter. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like there's a lot more light up here. There's a lot more light. So I'm afraid that my car might get hotter, actually. Like, <laughs> oh, what's been going on, chickadees? Like, um, where did we leave off? Like, we left off, it was like, what, Friday? Oh my gosh, Friday, I made the video where I got my tarot deck. Yes, I got tarot cards. And I went to the grocery store. That is so true. I've been really boring lately, chickadees. I'm so sorry. As you can tell from this video, like, I'm in my boring era. Okay, we can't like be like super duper uber boy drama, but like someone messaged me. I'm gonna stop like saying people's names too. It's like, do you do crystal? This man thought I do crystal meth. Like what? What about me is giving crystal meth? Because I, I'm just appalled. Like, I thought it was funny, but like another part of me is just like, bitch, that's rude as fuck. You really thought I do crystal? Like, do you do drugs? Like, do you do meth? Do you do meth? I deleted Grinder again. Chickadees. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's like a recurring theme. A little bit of replacement therapy right now replace one bad with another bad right is tinder so i redownloaded tinder for me like using tinder it like freaks me out because it's like i don't like the idea of like swiping on people's profiles like to me that just seems wrong and then to know that someone else is doing it to me also feels weird it just like it just rubs me the wrong way it's like you are literally going like and just judging people based off the, like the majority of people just judge people based off their looks. Immediate left swipe if they put like poly in it or if they put like they, you know, drink, smoke, like double smoke. Cause you know, they have like the weed leaf on there. So it's like you can smoke cigarettes and do the weed leaf. But then there's be some people on there that they like put on the weed leaf like sometimes. And then you like look at the person and you're like, mm, you actually don't look like you smoke. So it's like, so now I feel like, oh, there's probably some people on there who probably say they smoke weed, but they don't actually smoke weed. They just say that they do so that they look cool. Because, like, I don't know why, but, like, I feel like a lot of people associate smoking weed with, like, being cool and edgy. And it's just like, oh, my God, major eye roll. But then it's like, do I even want to be around someone who's like that? Like, someone who bases, like, 
being cool off of like doing a drug like you know what i'm saying I had like a few matches and i've been messaging i messaged every single one of them like i don't even care like message all of them and so far there's only like there's none good ones like out of the whole back one's a fuck boy one ghosted me one never messaged me back one is giving me very much like he says that he wants to meet people and like he's like i just like to meet new friends and maybe hopefully a relationship and when people say that basically it means i just want to waste your time that's what that that's what that equals that whole little i just want to meet new people and blah 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 Bitch, you've been on these motherfucking apps because I've seen this dude's face around before. You've been on this motherfucking app for over three years. Tinder and Grinder. I'm gonna get into that in a second. You've had your time to meet new people. You have had your time to meet new people. There's no new people just popping up in Richmond left and right. No, bitch. You've met your new people. Well, like... So what it is, it, what is it is, is what it is. It is, is what it is. You just want to fucking waste people's time. You want to get people's hopes up and think, oh yeah, I'll meet up with you one day. But you'll never meet up with someone. You never will. You're just a match collector. You just want to collect as many matches as you can. You just want to have your like inbox on Grindr be going crazy. Like that's just what you want. Damn. That's like why I personally have always vouched to just not even use Tinder because it's just like, it's literally 90% of the same guys from Grindr are on Tinder. But I feel like if you match and like hang out or go on a date from Tinder, it's like more respectable than if you all messaged each other on Grindr. So it's like... But like you have to have the two. You can't just only use Tinder. You have to have used Grinder, so you can see, you know, the people on the Grinder grid. And then when you see these people's Tinder profiles, it's just it's mind blowing. It's like, oh wow, you're a slut on Grinder, but you're a holy thou on Tinder. Or you know, they give same face on Tinder and as they do on Grinder. And it's like, oh. You're saying you're this, that, and the other on your grinder, but how come on your Tinder you're saying this, that, and the other? So now I know there's a liar. I know that there's a gesture in the court. So it's just like, why is it so complicated? Like, I just don't understand why is it literally so freaking complicated. Like, I was just thinking earlier, I'm like, the reason why there's like, gay people have a hard time dating is because gay people just don't go on dates with each other. Gay people just don't date. They just don't. They waste each other's time. The amount of people who have been on Tinder for like it's the same people for over like since i was 18 six years it's the same people and i'm pretty sure they've never deleted the app before they probably are just always on it why waste your time scrolling and swiping over these six years if you could if all of us could have just picked someone to go on a date with and just date for six months like you're not wasting your time you're not gonna miss out on anything because clearly you're not missing out on anything because these people have been on the app for six years clearly it ain't working the app ain't working so this is just like really annoying the whole reason why like why i really want to go on a date so bad is because like i'm on summer break like i have three assignments left and then I'm done. I'm literally done with school until August 21st. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to go out. Like I'm trying to meet new people. I'm trying to go on literally as many dates as possible. And it's like, I can't fucking do that because no one even wants to like meet up. And it's just really frustrating. <sighs> Once school starts, I'm going to be way too busy. I'm going to be way too freaking busy. I'm going to be stressed and pressed. So I'm gonna have my two classes and then I'm gonna be like doing the gym slash weightlifting stuff because I just started doing that crap like my arms are so sore bitch I woke up and I did 50 crunches I did 50 crunches this morning and so I'm gonna have all that and then like I'm learning tarot like that's been going pretty good y'all I'm like I'm starting to know like the meanings of everything like cups are your emotions air i mean wands are like your actions what you do 
swords are your thoughts and pentacles are like your material possessions and money and stuff and then if you get like a page that's like that's like a very like youthful beginner vibes if you get a knight it's kind of like a teenager vibes like you're still kind of fresh on your journey but you know you still have a lot to learn a queen is giving very much motherly vibes and then the king is giving you know like the master of the he's the leader so i'm like learning more and more soon i'll be making my little tarot videos i made my tiktok account so i'm ready for just when i'm confident enough to do a reading i'm gonna do it on there so what my game plan is is to make videos on tiktok first to get more confident in like doing readings and stuff and then once i like gain that confidence i'm gonna switch over to youtube and do like longer videos and more detailed videos but so yeah chickadees i feel like that's like the main updates like there's really not much going on i feel like i always have to just move in silence you know what i'm saying like this is the only like channel where like I can actually like speak upon what I'm doing. Like I can never post on Facebook or on my personal Instagram, like what I'm doing. Like I think there's only like, besides my family, like one or two people who know that I'm going to like, to be taking classes this fall, like and continuing my education. Like no one even knows that. Oh, I get my hair cut this Friday and my tattoo. I'm so freaking excited. So I'm off on Friday, so literally, what, is today's Tuesday? So I just have to get through today, Wednesday, and Thursday. And the one supervisor who sits by me on Thursday, she's off. So Thursday's gonna be, like, the most chill day ever. So really, I just have to get through today and tomorrow. And then next week is when my work-from-home day switches to Thursday, so I have to be in office on Monday which is gonna be very hard to adjust to, but we'll get over it. And then I'll have Thursday's work from home. Bitch, and I get motherfucking paid this Friday. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, y'all. I want my baby daddy Austin to come back. When is he gonna reach out to me? I want him to reach out so bad. Ugh. Oh my God, chickadees, y'all know how I was like, I'm not gonna talk about boys, I'm not gonna talk about boys. Well, the Preston dude on Grinder. remember how I followed him on Instagram? Well, he finally just followed me back like literally eight minutes ago. So I had to like put this in the video. Do you guys want to see the cityscape? You want to see the view? Let me get my motherfucking keys so I don't lock myself out the core. Let's go. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is like so... Yeah, chickadees. Have a great day. Bye.